for a long time when we talked about making the movie, um, we talked about you know having people make up and like doing it the traditional way, and I felt like. You know, that had been done so many times. If you're going you're gonna to zomb depict zombies in a movie, like, get real ones. It would probably have been cheaper in a lot of ways to use fake zombies or people in makeup. But because we had this opportunity to use the real zombies, I convinced the studio that it was probably better. The great thing about them is, you know, they, they, they don't have a union. It's like you can kind of work them all night. They added a realism that I couldn't have gotten, you know? You can tell when you see the movie who's a real zombie and who's not, because the performances differ. They're a little slower than working with, uh, with normal actors, so, you know, it takes them a lot longer to get going in the morning. You have to come in from the graveyard at least 5 a.m. just to start getting dressed and getting breakfast going, and then they take you to set, and then your day begins. They actually, once you give them a mission, they listen pretty well. They don't complain. Uh, they're extremely focused. Uh, they do exactly what they need to do. We don't want to get behind them in the lunch line or anything. Oh. Smell was really atrocious. I didn't think I smelled. Well, I've, I've gotten quite used to it now. But in the beginning, it was, it was quite offensive. You don't notice it until you get home. Back to the hotel is when I noticed. I noticed it the most. So. Take, taking a lot of showers after the shoot? Many. Two, three a night, usually. We had those little air fresheners hanging everywhere off camera, but it didn't didn't really help that much. It was gross. I don't think that's true. You know, we we take care of ourselves just like everybody else. Well, I think that's a cultural stigma, that zombies smell bad. They smelled a lot worse in the 60s and 70s. I think now they've sort of cleaned up their act. It's funny. Zach smells, so it's like they, don't, they didn't really, you know, and a lot of the actors smelled too, so it wasn't, you didn't really pick up on it. The issue with them having to feed on f human flesh, you know, that, that sometimes posed a problem. They're not that civilized, so uh, I, try to, I try to stay away from them during lunch. Anytime you brought one into the lunchroom, like, something bad would happen, so we stopped doing it. We had to pen them off and, like, get cadavers. We just stopped by the morgue and pick up a leg, a head, a couple of nose, some eyes. Like the entrails enchilada, please. We try to keep them well fed so they'll stay away from the crew members. They'll reach out and grab you. You have to be really careful about that. We had to, you know, do a little raiding of some local well, cemeteries. Actually, I heard reports that you guys lost a couple of PAs on the film. That I can't comment on that. They took the uh, the crew that was misbehaving and they threw them in there and they could kind of have their little lunch. But they didn't want to feed them too much or else, you know, they obviously wouldn't be hungry. And this is like a method movie, I guess. So they wanted to keep them as hungry as possible for while we were shooting. I don't want to say that we physically fed PAs to the zombies because that really, come on. I mean, that's not really fair to say and to accuse me of because I really don't find that funny. You know, let's say this, when you have real zombies around, I mean, anything could happen, right? We took extra insurance. It was, it was fine. Zach got to shoot one, which was kind of, you know, a thrill for him. You know, just a guy sort of at random. All those great head hits, you know, they were real. I'm just like, you know, you can't fake that. The problem with that, again, was that it diminished my numbers of extras. You know, I wanted a lot of them, and it, you start killing them, you know, willy-nilly, and suddenly I'm having the AD saying, look, you got six guys today because you've been shooting them all week. You know, it's like, that's kind of a bummer. So then what we'd do a lot of the time, that thing's off, right? What we do a lot of the time is we'd, um, that's when we would like get a PA or something and turn them, and then I kind of increase my numbers that way. But we didn't do it a lot. We didn't do it a lot. The zombies really, they, they give so much. If the zombies are really given like that 100% all the time, it makes you want to do the same. You know, you see them like arm, limbs are falling off, and you're like, gosh, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for my latte. It's kind of like, not cool. Just from talking to them, they've said it's been, you know, it's been hard to find work for them. I find typecasting to be a problem. You get pigeonholed. They, you know, they only want you for, and the brain eating, the aforementioned brain eating. There's only so many times you can play a gunshot victim on ER, or a corpse on Six Feet Under, or a murder victim on Crossing Jordan. Well, it's easy to be a zombie in Hollywood, but to get paid for it, that's, that's the real challenge. I want to do drama. I want to do Shakespeare, but it's difficult. Yeah, I think I would work with the undead again. Um, primarily, though, in a more 
I would like to do something where they're more, where they get to do a little bit more emoting, you know, like where they get to see more range from them, you know, like in, in, in this movie, they're pretty much always attacking and being angry. I'd like to see them be a little more sensitive maybe in the, in the future.